Natural Science Museum with Nicole Smith. Can you tell me what today is? Today is Friday, February 9th, and it is Mississippi Arbor Day. So we have happiness and activity happening behind and all around us all about Mississippi trees. So what is this, the significance of something like this? Why have an event like this here? Well, uh, we, as a natural science museum, we are connected to all things nature, not just its conservation and protection, but also understanding and education. So this event is a nice hybrid of all of those things with area sponsors and contributors and partners and collaborators about this. So now there's something going on, a dedication of sorts that's happening behind us as well. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, yeah, so uh, we had a tree planting earlier this week, and it's a dedication ceremony for the Rebecca Gravit chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. It's an anniversary for them of a certain uh, occasion. And so uh, they're making uh, their uh, dedication is in the theater right now. <laughs> I know there's a lot going on. That's why you're breathing, how you've been ripping and running. Is this something that people can get to like right now if they're if they're watching at home and they say, oh, I need to get my keys. Can they come on? Yeah, so it's happening until noon today. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Mississippi trees, maybe even take some spring bulbs home for planting, this is a great time to be here. What else can you learn when you come to the Natural Science Museum? We tell people all the time it's not just for kids. What can adults learn? Oh, wow. Uh, Pick a topic, to be honest. Like, we, we've learned things about genetics here upon occasion. We learn things about habitat conservation and restoration. We learn about pretty much any topic that you can think of in nature. We can do some sort of education on that. And there are some blood suckers in the building, a whole exhibit dedicated to them. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> so, we have an, an exhibit here called Attack of the Blood Suckers. It just opened in January, and it's here until about the middle of May. And it truly is about all the creepy crawly things that like a blood meal and what they teach us about our our ecology and also our health and safety gotcha. and you have a birthday coming up pretty soon here at the natural science museum what can people do and do they need to call ahead <laughs> so it kind of is our birthday it's called nature fest it'll be april 13th you don't need to call ahead you just need to come on the day of it's from 10 till 4 and we're going to have live animal programs behind the scenes tours in our labs with our scientists and a whole lot more food trucks, bubble, it's the size of human beings, uh, games, and a lot of education, but a lot of fun. It's going to be great. So now, also, is this something you want people to make sure they come to if they don't make it today, come to next year? And also, how do they get in touch with you guys to get a membership? So uh, you can get through everything on our website. The Mississippi Museum of Natural Science has a, 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 a very informative website. And our foundation, the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science Foundation also has an informative website and it's through that one you can become a member. I love that. Any last thing you want to let the folks know on this Mississippi Arbor Day? Plant some trees. It's a great time of year for it. This is Mississippi Arbor Day for a reason. It's an ideal time to plant trees in Mississippi for your spring growth. All right, spring growth, all the things. We love the growth, you know? We love to see nature out here in the world and also inside of the Mississippi Natural Science Museum. So make sure you come check it out. You're here till noon. We're here, well, we're here all the time, but the event goes on till noon. All right, Blake, I'm sending it back to you.